Um, so can you tell me about uh, why you think it is so important to ask Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for a debate? And she says that she feels threatened by it. So she feels threatened to be able to discuss the policy of the Green New Deal. Is that what she's saying? The, the manner of which you could there's her. nothing there's nothing wrong with the manner. Here I'll explain some that I was just talking about up there. Since I have been a member of Congress, I have been kicked off of my committees by the Democrats when there were no ethics violations against me. Not one. I did nothing wrong. You know what else happened? Representative Cory Bush attacked me in the tunnel, screaming at me, screaming. I said, never said a word to her. She goes by screaming at me to put on a mask. That's a verbal assault. You want to know what else happened? The delegate from Guam marches the National Guard on my office. Can you imagine on a woman's office, a female member of Congress, I had over 30 National Guard marched on my office by the delegate of Guam. Thank God I wasn't in there. What else happened? Marie Newman that lives across, that's across the hall from me. She shoulder checked me right there inside in front of the Capitol Police yesterday. And I, she went by, hit my shoulder, I said, excuse me. She said nothing back, kept going out the door. That's a physical assault. Today, Eric Swalwell, walking in here, my staffer nicely says to him, Congressman, you don't have to wear your mask anymore. Because by with what Biden said yesterday, he chases my staffer inside, everybody saw it, and gets in his face, curses at him, saying, you don't tell me what to do. This, the Democrats are the, are the party of aggression and violence. We have AOC, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, publicly and on their social media and speaking on the House floor, supporting Hamas, terrorists who are attacking Israel with rocket fire after rocket fire, and they're supporting the terrorists. They're also supporting Antifa and BLM terrorism all over the country. And then I get harassed by the press every single day about January 6th. And I've said the entire time, literally starting on that day during the riot, how much I'm upset by it, how much I'm against it, and, and how appalled at it that I am. I was a victim of it as well. So if we want to talk about assault, if we want to talk about aggressive behavior, we need to be interviewing the Democrats. And AOC should be able to debate her policy because I'm a successful business owner. She's never done that. I know for a fact what socialism will do to our country. The American people know it. The American people want to see a debate about the Green New Deal, which is written into all of these garbage bills that we have to vote on every single day. So we do talk to Democrats. We'll put that aside. We talk to them all the time and ask them similar questions. But for you today, do you think that the, a constant confrontation with these members of Congress, which is really something that we really haven't seen in Congress in a very long time, does anything need to change? No. You want to know what you haven't seen in a long time? You haven't seen a member of Congress willing to hold people accountable for the actions that they're committing. You see members of Congress, like Democrats, constantly getting away with things. Why don't you ask Nancy Pelosi why she denied 10,000 National Guard troops to be here on January 6th, when after January 5th, there, excuse me, there were two pipe bombs found at the RNC and the DNC. That's a good question. That's accountability. See, there's nothing wrong with me pushing things out there, asking questions, pushing for debate. That's exactly what I should be doing to represent my district. Congresswoman, you had one conversation with Ocasio Cortez on the floor that was, from what I understand, relatively civil. What did that entail? That was me asking her to debate the Green New Deal. And you know what she said? She said, this is where we debate, and she, the chamber. And she said, and on C-SPAN. And I said, great, we'll debate it in here, and I'll set it up. And that was it? That was basically it. Other than me telling her, you've never owned a business before, so you have no idea what your socialist policies are going to do to businesses and to our country. And then she told me, well, I've launched restaurants. And I said, well, you never owned one. 